the strain that was detected in the pigs cl most closely matched or resembled the strain that's found in wild birds and not the strain uh, or the variant that has been detected in dairy cattle. It's important because influenza, both human strains and avian strains, have what's called a segmented genome. So the genome is broken up into different parts. And if by a rare occurrence, an animal like a pig or a human becomes infected with two different types of influenza virus, and those viruses happen to infect the same cell, they unpack their genome and in the process of making a new virus, there's a chance that those segmented genome can become reassorted and it can lead to the production of a brand new virus. Pigs are thought of as an evolutionary playground for influenza viruses because we can get multiple different types of viruses infecting them, leading to this reassortment events and production of new viruses. There is a risk for unpasteurized milk and unpasteurized milk products. So do not consume unpasteurized milk and milk products because we know that some dairy cattle are infected and the virus is present in the milk and there is some risk if you're consuming or eating unpasteurized products. One, it helps keep you from getting typical human influenza, which can be a very severe disease. Two, it helps prevent you from spreading influenza to other people. And then third, with circulation of avian influenza in birds and mammals, and now dairy cattle and even in pigs, it prevents the chance that we see this reassortment event. It, it reduces the chance that a human could be infected with both an avian strain and a human strain. It reduces the chance that a human could transmit a human influenza strain to an animal like a pig and lead to these reassortment events.